Here's another delicious holiday how-to. This tutorial is all about cake pops. We're making cake balls and cake squares. So join me in the kitchen as we whip up these delicious treats. For those of you that watched our holiday video making the holiday sweet or savory, you'll remember the square cake pops and the round cake pop balls that were featured in that video. I'm showing you how to make those today. We're using the Heavenly Cake Pop Easy Roller. And what I've done is I've just taken some leftover cake scraps. I've thrown those into a food processor and blitzed them down until they are the consistency of cookie dough. And then using the handy little uh, guides that come with the Easy Roller, I just formed my dough and took my rolling pin and rolled over the top of it. The reason why you use those formers is so that your dough is the same height all the way through. I then simply placed it on the Easy Cake Pop Roller, put the top on, and now I have these perfect strips. So I'm just gonna go through and clean them up a little bit, lay them the opposite direction on the Easy Roller. Now once I have these spaced out, I'm just gonna grab my top, pop it right back on, push down, and I will have the perfect little square. From here, I'm just going to clean them up a little bit, place them on my cookie sheet, and I will be ready to dip them in chocolate. This is super easy, and it's actually a lot of fun for kids, so families, get your kids involved. Next step, coming right up. We are moving on to our cake balls. So using the formers, I've placed my dough in between them and rolled them out so I have a nice, smooth, uh, square that is the same thickness all the way through. I'm placing that right back on top of my easy roller. Just gonna get it positioned to maximize the number of balls that I can get out of it. Do a quick little tidy and I am ready to pop my lid on. And just like we did with the square, we're actually going to first cut our strips and then we will reposition those strips the other way so that we can then roll to get our perfect little balls. So just pop that lid on, pop it off. Go ahead and clean up those edges. You can always throw those back in the bowl and reuse those the next time around. Evenly space out our strips. Then we're gonna simply take our lid, pop it right back on, I'm going to leave it a little ways uh, forward so we have enough room to roll and then just roll it back two to three times and you have the perfect cake ball every single time. How easy is that? Now we are ready for the fun part, dipping our chocolate. Stay tuned. We have all of our cake balls formed and we are ready to dip them in chocolate. We are actually using a candy coating chocolate. This is by Merkins and is a dark chocolate. And it's really easy. We just take two forks and we take our cake ball and drop it down into our chocolate and then kind of swish it around to make sure it's nice and coated. Pull it up with your fork, remove the excess chocolate on the side and place right onto your parchment lined cookie sheet. We're gonna repeat the process with all of our round cake balls. Um, sprinkle a little bit of gold sugar and this is a sanding sugar. It's more of a coarse sanding sugar that is gold colored. And we are going to repeat the process with our square cake balls too. It's that easy, super simple, fun, and beautiful. We hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to email us at epicdelights.com. You can find the Heavenly Cake Pop Roller online at heavenlycakepops.com. Until next time, make it sweet or savory, but always delicious.